Hi everyone, today I'm talking about um, the Internet of Things and a cool messaging protocol called, called MQTT. But first I have to say thanks to Rod for the uh, awesome, awesome the theme for the slides. So, okay, so let's start. So guys, how many of you have coded something today? Oh, okay, an applause for all the guys that coded something today. Okay. Um, I hope even somebody has released an NPM module today. Let's hope that. But okay. Yeah, okay, Rod did. Perfect. So we code, we do stuff, right? Well, how do we code an app? Because today, what we do, most of us do, is coding applications, right? Basically, we just code some response to some user interaction, like clicking, pitching, zooming, whatever. We build this stuff, right? But this is just a call to our node server, right? We may do some WebSocket magic, but it's not really changing much in this pattern. We submit something to our server, open a connection maybe, whatever, and we get something back and whoo, 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 our application pops up and does stuff, right? Well, how do we code this thing? That's the issue. Does it change something that we are coding this stuff? Well, we want to do our cloud thing. We want to use Node. We want to use the cloud. We want to be able to control the stuff remotely. Well, we have a couple of problems over here. The first one is battery. Come on, guys. How many times do you charge your mobile phone every day? <laughs> Maybe, oh, well, mine stays plugged all the day, I think. Okay? Well, that's the main issue. Then the second thing is that, well, we want to have something in our house, right? Build some cool Internet of Things application. Well, that's it. It sits behind a firewall. It sits behind our router. Yeah. Maybe a problem if you want to send a message directly to it, right? It should be fast should react to real world fast. You tap and do stuff. We need some kind of scalable solution for this problem. Because, come on, I've seen the latest prediction about the Internet of Things. It's 80 billion stuff connected to the Internet by 2020. How many of you are running a service with 80 billion persistent connections in it? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm talking about MQTT today, which is a very nice protocol. It's 20, year, 20 years old. So why the hell I'm talking as a new stuff? Well, we'll see. Uh, MQTT was born in an era where uh, we got like a few bits per second. So it's extremely optimized for um, low overhead, almost no overhead, okay? so. It's a publish subscribe thing. Somebody, this is a central broker, it's a centralized thing, and somebody listens to some events, and someone else publishes stuff, right? It's kind of a distributed event emitter thing, which you all knew perfectly, right? Does anybody doesn't know anything about event, events here? Okay, so nobody. <laughs> okay. MQTT as first thing is binary. Um, most of the thing is most of the packets as a two bytes overhead, which is fucking small actually. It's party subscribe. Well, it has three levels of quality of services. We will see one later. The one is not really even used a lot, and it's standard. It's been standardized actually, but it will be standard in a few months. Well, that's it. It has a very cool feature, which I think is the, the best one. It has a no-flying mode, which means that when you subscribe, you will get, and then you disconnect because uh, it's your own mobile or whatever, then, well, when you reconnect, you get all the package left. So, let's move to some code. First, we have an MQTTJS library on NPM, right? Cool! And it's fast. And, well, it's based on streams and at a high, a high level, 
uh, client API. I am one of the I'm one of the maintainers. So instant gratification. What does this what does this code does? Well, it creates a client and it's subscribed to one single endpoint, node conf slash eu, and it listens for some messages, and then we publish. Okay? So we can run this thing. Pop up. Okay? Let's ask with that, let's do something more. Mosquito is a tool for doing this, um, for interacting with, um, it's a broker and it also provides some command line tool for interacting with a um, MQTT broker. So node conf slash eu. Okay, uh, let's run this thing again. This works, but also it's in here, right? And it can be run also in your Arduino, in your Raspberry Pi, wherever. It's totally real time. Okay, so let's continue. Well, this stuff running inside the browser. Why the hell? It's a protocol for the Internet of Things. It can run on streams, so um, you can run it directly on top on NGINIO, WebSockets, whatever you want. And Thank for Substack for, to Substack for Browserify. Nothing will be possible without this. It's based on unreleased code, so take it with a grain of sight. It works, as you've seen, but OK. So um, what I've done is this broker called Mosca, which, is, which means, just means fly in, in, uh, in Italian. And it can be used standalone, is what I'm using for these demos. But uh, it can also be uh, embedded in your app, like Level up, level DB. Okay, you can build your own broker and add your own functionality to it for making scalable Internet of Things application. So it has some authentication API, which I know some cool guys are doing some stuff all, all over the world, uh, and it can be plugged on top of any known PubSub system uh, to support the um, databases. Uh, to support the per the offline mode, we need also a database. And, well, I am one of the level up committer because I've started using level up for this. And actually, that's it. Um, we need a database, okay? Because the persistent for the offline mode. Yeah. So, part of the socket. There's a pull, pull request out there. So, it's fast. How fast it is? Well, um, I've run two process processes for this uh, benchmark. Uh, one opened 5,000 connections uh, to my broker, and the other was the broker on this MacBook. So uh, this was the latency of receiving one packet. So you will see 350 milliseconds for getting in this scale pretty linearly. Okay. So the cool thing is the offline mode, which actually is something that I really love. So what does this example do? First, we, we, we specify two stuff. First is the client ID. We need an unique identifier for our client, OK? Because we want to receive the messages when we are offline, OK? Like in this conference, maybe Wi-Fi access is not really OK. And maybe you are offline, but you want to receive the messages uh, that were sent when you were here. And well, this is a client ID, and this is this also flag also clean false. That's that's just that. Triggers on the offline capabilities. So first we subscribe, and look, we pass this thing called QoS one. We just set the quality of service level. Uh, we can't have quality um, offline mode for quality of service zero, because it's no guarantee of success, right? Quality of service zero means nothing. Message is sent. Who knows if we will receive it at all. However, with quality of service one, we can guarantee that we receive at least one time each packet. And the third one is a callback for, well, the subscribe is done. Uh, so we can run this thing. And OK, subscribe done, right? But, well. Uh, we can then run a message. This is just very similar to the others. However, we just, done, uh, we just do a publish, and this publish 
is with quality of service one, two. Okay? And publish done. Uh, then we can do maybe a publish from this thing. Um, Oh, well, can't remember to the syntax. I'm sorry, guys. And we can run this, the offline mode, and we get our message, right? Not conf EU offline, hello Vikings. OK? Because look, we don't have, you don't even do the subscribe over here, right? Um, we just reconnect, and we get the session at the very exact point where we got it before disconnecting. And we get all our messages back. This is cool, yes. It also works in the browser, so if you disconnect, it autom you automatically get all the updates again. Okay? Well, that's the scale. Mosquito is a C++ broker, and this is my Mosca thing. And this graph just tells you what. Take a little bit. Your conclusion? Um, Kind of, uh, Mosca can handle the publish subscribe thing pretty well, and also the, off the offline pattern pretty well. I have to thank Level Up for this, mainly this guy, come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah? Because uh, it wouldn't really be possible because this thing is on level DB, and well, it's pretty fast. That's time on the left, right? Uh, on the left is time, yeah. and on the right is a number of uh, packets. So node is faster and node. What? Node is faster because it's lower, right? Yeah. It, it's, it, actually, it's node is faster because it's, uh, it's not just node that's fast. Yeah. It's that you can do crazy stuff with node much more easily than in anything else. And we get some clever algorithm by some contributors out there that can actually allow this, th this to be extremely fast. So. Uh, I'm just adding a little couple of stuff. There is a project called Ponti, which is a bridge, actually, for um, the Internet of Things. You actually want to expose your stuff to the web and also not only interact with MQTT, but also with other protocols. There is one, this one called COIP, Co-op, which is uh, for based on UDP. And well, that's there. Uh, it will be part of the CLIS Foundation soon. We will have a... No JS project inside the Eclipse Foundation, so I don't know. It's very, it's very nice because um, what the Eclipse Foundation is doing is very hot on the machine-to-machine -machine phase, and it's a cool way for getting new people on board in this. Um, well, I have another demo, which is uh, I couldn't really bring my hardware uh, f with me. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. However, well, if it works, okay. Uh, I have a li little lad running in Italy that I can control remotely from here. Okay, so let's see what it is. I have this and take it from here. Okay. Um, do you guys know about Tweetbot? Well, it's a very nice interface uh, for Twitter. It's kind of pricey, but okay. Um, I can control it from Twitter. Um, well, take some time. <laughs> and I can also control it from uh, my uh, iMessage. OK, this is the same thing from can I just from Twitter. And um, yeah. Where it is? Come on. Over here. Yeah. I turned it off. Uh, if you want to turn on and off my lad, you can try. You can tweet this tweet bot. It's called, you can control it like this. And turn light on or off or whatever. So have fun. Play the human race. Yeah! <laughs> Let's build Skynet. And where it is, my, okay, sorry guys. Here we, here we go. 
And well, thank you. <laughs>